Hi there, I'm Henry with Guitar Union and I have another fretboard diagram topic for you. Somebody in comments on another video asked about the B string and how come, why, why must we uh, have this tuning that adjusts these patterns? So I would say that uh, you can have whatever kind of tuning you want and figure it out. You know, some tunings may not really be you know that well fit for the the physical structure of the guitar but we we can essentially tune in a multitude of ways and then the ramifications of that are it changes the the relationship of the notes to one another so here uh this is just kind of in in theory uh type video we have uh ead gcf so a lot of uh si i think six six string basses start with the low b and would go B, E, A, D, G, C. I think the reason why is because on a lot of bass playing, we don't encounter quite as many chords, or if you do, they're two note chords and, and whatnot. So E, A, D, G, C, F, what does this look like if we're going to move this over? Um, actually, I'm just gonna keep it right here and Bring this up. So mind you, everything on the on the same string on the string will stay the, the, the same. Or but they bear the same relationship to each other in, in a linear fashion. It's just what you see this way uh, changing. And a, and a lot of this will remain the same because these four strings, E A D G, are the same. But then what we have here is now we have E on one end and uh, F on the other. And so all of our, our bar chords would be off. So let's just take a look at what C would look like, our C chord. Oh, well, look, that's easier. Instead of a major seventh, now that's a C. Oh, but now we've got G on the second fret. So how do you hold that? Now there's ways to hold it. We only need three fingers, so uh, we can figure it out. It's just uh, when, I, well, I'm sure if these were the first chords that you learned, you, we would we would definitely figure it out. But taking a look, uh, let's go to like the, the G chord, for example, G, B, D, G, and then uh, this is where it changes. We would have these two right here. So once again, totally possible we can short bar this, but we can see where, where this is going now. Chords like A, which starts with the open A, and then we have these here, got C sharp hiding over here. Now this would become C sharp. So yeah, it looks like the a minor chord, not not too much of a problem, but then now we do not have an open E, and so we have F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, the first available A note would be right here. So we either, either have to avoid the high string and not play it, or reach up here to the fourth fret with the pinky to, to play the chord. So that's, this is an A, and I suppose the, uh, the A minor chord would be a little bit easier because we don't have to hold that one. So that's what we're looking at with A minor. Moving along, uh, let's take a look at what the E chord looks like. E, oops, that's not E, that's E. This is E or that's B, E, so, so far so good. Got my G sharp up here. And then now this is gonna be a little tricky because we don't have, this is the closest E, just like what we dealt with in the A chord. And then, then we would have a G sharp right here. So in this case, we would most certainly have to avoid something or not play something and play a partial version of the chord 
So let's take a look at one more the D chord. We have D. We have We have uh, A and D right here, and then the F sharp would be right here. It's probably the the one that would be a little bit easier. It looks just like the A minor, and so you could see from from these chords what what would happen. So let's take a look now at um, just some of these natural notes. If I take this and move it over here some scale play we start in a b c d e f g a and uh, shifting up b c d e f g a b c so this doesn't really um, this doesn't really keep us in position although if we were to you know if we were to do the standard tuning it would look like this. So we shift up and then shift right back. So it's debatable as to whether or not it would be uh, easier for you to do. So I don't know the, 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 in terms of, in terms of a pattern uh, just being, you know, what, what it is. Um, meaning like when we, when we shift it to other places, it's certainly going to be easier to remember. But when it comes to the chords, I think we can see here that it's going to make things more difficult. And, and that's also subjective and debatable. Maybe had you learned that way first, uh, we, we would have figured out certain ways, certain chords. Certainly the bar chords would be a huge problem because instead of the same tone on each side of the guitar, we have different tones. And then so that just takes away you know, barring over a, a full fret and then playing underneath it. So uh, here, let we will take a look at this again. A B C D E F G A B C D E F G A B C. So if I were to take this now and say move it over to where A starts there, if we were in standard tuning, we'd have to adjust the B string down to make it right. Here, we would be, um, this would be exactly as it is. And, and then the only difference is this, the E string is not the same, so that would start right right here. So there's still gonna be some, uh, some changes in from what we knew before, but I don't know. I don't really like the EADGCF tuning too much. Um, I'm too much of a chord player, but I think that if you were involved in just playing a lot of single string uh, stuff and then some two string and, um, you know, if you're more of a melodic player, uh, similar to how the bass is tuned in all four, you might, you might consider it. And, you know, if you know anybody who's making some great music, doing some things with this type of tuning, share it, let me know. Um, and we'll take a look at it. Thanks for checking this out. Leave me some comments and see you at the next video.